Hello again, it's Eric with Adventures ASMR, and I uh, hope everyone's doing well. It is Monday, the 1st of July, right before sunset, so roughly right before 6.30 p.m. Um, yeah, I want to say, with the heat index, it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, so 35 Celsius. It's a steamy one right now. But, uh, hello. But yeah, let's turn the camera around and uh, take a look on Burgos right now, if you didn't know it already, but let's see. Right, all right. So, way before the evening starts, but figured I'd walk around, just show another video of what it's like, uh, well, during some of the daylight hours. Let's take a walk up Burgos here in a second. Yeah, a lot of these places open at, what, about 6 to 8 o'clock. A lot of them about 8 o'clock. Right outside of O'Reilly's Pub. Corner of P. Burgos and McCarty. One second. All right. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to grab real quick. Wow, look at the sky. Let's see if we can get a good look at this. Hello, Bob. Cloudy, so not sure how good sunset's gonna be tonight. Yeah, we'll walk around to a loop right by the Sogo and Andukes. We got what? City Garden Grand right there. Might also be on Airbnb or something like that. I didn't check, but I don't see why not. Let's do a loop around. One of the many money changers in the area. Uh, if this is your first time seeing one of these videos, I talk about it a lot. I don't use the money changers, I just hit ATMs. Uh, works great. Still need to do its own video on it, but I think the best ATM is the HSBC in BGC. Uh, and why? They let you take out 40,000 pesos at a time. I said a, a lot of them are capped at 10,000. Uh, the one, and just if anybody's wondering, the one at Ayala Circuit is now capped. Someone thought it might have been 40. I did go check. It is capped at 20,000. I'm sure there's other 40s around. Uh, just also HSBC, as far as I know, I don't even think they have a withdrawal, like an ATM fee. Uh, most of them have, you know, it pops up, says uh, international card, 250 peso fee. I don't see that on the prompt when I'm using the HSBC ATM. So you can pull out 40,000, I think for free, unless your bank itself or credit union has some sort of fee for doing so internationally. But at an average of a, uh, what, 250 peso fee, instead of 10,000, 40,000, that's like, that alone right there is a savings of tw about $20 uh, if you, well, if you get those fees, some banks do ATM uh, reimbursement, but for argument's sake, could save up to $20. Just choosing the right ATM. All right. 
I did a loop. Altar Bush right over there just for orientation. Just came past Lips and Masson. Or Mason. I gotta try this again, Pasha. Someone told me that was really good. I feel like I ate there almost a year ago, maybe a little more now. Korean chicken and beer. It's a good spot to eat, by the way. I like the popcorn chicken that they have. Passing Garrison. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Got Manuel over there. Trying to see if I was good crossing the street. Man, well, I don't think you can hear me from here. I'm pretty far. Yeah, let's do a loop. Super, super early in the evening, so it takes a while to fill out. But just want to show what it's like. You now, if you're coming out here on vacation, what to expect before 8 to 10 o'clock at night. And really doesn't fill out until past midnight a lot of nights. Yeah, I'm gonna make this a quick video and then I'll shoot a game of pool, get something to eat. A lot of girls getting dropped off to go work at the bar. Yeah, super empty before the evening, so marquee, neon nights, and fire, and bottoms, all getting set up. Look, we are. Yeah, nothing crazy, nice relaxing video, but just showing what you'd experience if you were here and going out in town before uh, everything starts up in the evening. And yeah, not sure if I said it, I think I missed it at the beginning of this video, but hey, if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. Greatly helps out the channel, and I super appreciate it. Been doing this a little over a year now, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'd love to keep doing it. Hey, brother. How you doing? Lollipops. Uh, that's on the second floor, and then Parvion, and I'm saying that wrong. Hey, how you doing? I think that's Jake right there. One of the shoe salesmen. <laughs> Either floating around or you can find them on my, uh, Makati Ave right in front of... Oh, it's a street food market over there. I'm forgetting the name at the moment, but... If you've been out here, you know what I'm talking about. It's all fenced in. All right. You know, real quick, I actually want to check if the donut shop is still open. Blue Parrot, I don't think it opens till eight. Same thing with uh, Little Finger.
But we just crossed uh, Clay and Ave. Still on Burgos, by the way. And I've said it before, but if you haven't heard it, Burgos is shaped, if you look on the map, it's kind of like a banana shape. And it hooks off of Makati Ave and then goes right back onto Makati Ave. One side of Burgos, uh, you know, I'm not bad with the north south, I didn't check, but one side is where all the lady bars predominantly are, and the other side, a few lady bars, but predominantly actual dance clubs, like a place where, you know, Filipino college age student person uh, go hang out and enjoy. Uh, the other side, that's where more of the expats are. I said octopus octopus is like a dance club dance club with a bottle table a bottle service for the tables it's fancy up there no they did a, they did a good, a good job they put it together real nice oh man the insular bakery all right well step one it's open but number two let's see if they have the donuts that I like Poke we got. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, that's so nice. They have them and they're actually individually wrapped. I've never seen that. Usually they're just in a stack. That's 16 peso. It's like a twisted sugar donut. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna grab. I don't know, at least one of those. They're good. Latte. These things are good too. Just one of these uh, donut donut twists, please. Just one, awesome, let me. 16, awesome, I'll grab that, I just want. Yeah, look at that. These are awesome, by the way. Super soft, lots of sugar. I paid for that one second, I just wanna... And these are good too. So cream puffs, but it's kind of like a creme brulee. It's like a caramelized, hard sugar on top. If they don't have donuts, that's what I go to next. All right, let me pay for this. All right, awesome. So yeah, if you're staying right in this area, the Insular Bakery. I'm not sure what their hours are. I forgot to ask, but super early to not super late. Maybe like they close it around like seven or eight. Let's go up this way. Uh, but great pastries and uh, good bread. I like the donuts personally. So when I was staying at uh, Red Planet for a while, it's like what right. That alley right over there on the other side of the Occulto. So like what, less, maybe a hundred yards total from like front door to front door. Right up that alley. That's where you got uh, shooters as well. Great food. I've said that at least a hundred times on the channel, but no, a really good spot to sit and eat, shoot a game of pool. But one more loop up Burgos and we'll call it a night. I'll get some uh, real food besides the donut. I just wanted to grab that before the uh, place closes. Also, just random information. The donuts here at 7-Eleven are actually pretty good. Um, I never really got a stale one. I feel like they sell out so quickly. They don't have time to get stale. And they do get delivered, I would say like a few times a day. It depends on the location, but I've always asked. It's not just a once in the morning thing. But hey, if you like donuts and stuff like that, I like it, uh, but yeah, just throwing it out there. Good donuts at 7-Eleven. And any of the bread shops that you see, a lot of the uh, pastries, 
Amazing. So, yep, yeah, right near uh, sunset. I still haven't eaten at that. Right there. Whoop, too close. Time spot. I'm gonna have to check it out eventually. I'm curious. It's been too long. Yeah, none of the girls are even here yet. It's still way too early. Empty, empty. Oh, but yeah, making it to the other end. And uh, that'll be about it for this video. Like I said, keep it short and simple. Just wanted to show different nights what it's like be uh, before the bar scene comes out. So nothing special, nothing crazy about this video, but just in case you're wondering what does it look like during the day or before night, here's your answer. And during the day, like, you know, daytime, like daytime, daytime hours. Yeah, I mean, a, li a little less people, but super empty. Uh, yeah, you know, it could be relaxing. Come out, grab a breakfast somewhere. Honestly, I would go to 1898, best beef tapa. Uh, I probably had anywhere. They do it on point. Almost at Masan again. All right. Well, hey, that might be about it. Um, like I said, nothing special about this video. Just wanted to get out here and show what it's like before the, uh, the evening crowd strolls on in. Um, one more time, if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. Greatly helps out the channel. And if you want to further support us, check out our hot sauce Makati Fire, available on Lazada and TikTok shop. Be available on Amazon soon and a few more places, but still working out the details on that. And uh, we also have private memberships. So a lot of the videos that are just too spicy, uh, we put on there. Otherwise, we get demonetized. And yeah, it's a lot. Sometimes it really is a lot of work to put the videos together and edit. Um, looks really easy. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time and effort. But all right. Well, I think that's it. So thanks again for watching. Super appreciate it. And remember, life is short, so keep exploring and chasing dreams. Catch you in the next one.